the Education Act, Part 2, Ministers' Power and Advisory Bodies, Section 3, General Powers of the Minister. It shall be lawful for the Minister, A, to promote the education of pe the people of Jamaica and the progressive development of institutions devoted to that purpose. B. To frame an educational policy designed to provide a varied and comprehensive educational service in Jamaica. C. To secure the effective execution of the educational policy of the government of Jamaica. D. To establish a coordinated educational system organized in accordance with the provisions of this Act. E. To contribute towards the spiritual, moral, mental, and physical development of the community by securing that efficient education shall be available to meet the needs of the island. Section 4. Particular Powers So it continues to talk about the powers of the Minister of Education. Subsection 1. Without prejudice to the generality of the provisions of Section 3, the Minister shall have the power, shall have power, A, to establish schools in such places as he may think fit and to determine the classification of such schools. B, to maintain or assist in maintaining schools, whether established by him or otherwise. So it could be a private school, and the Minister of Education has the power to maintain that school. C, to establish, maintain, and assist in maintaining such teachers' colleges and other institutions as he may consider necessary for the training of teachers and to take other action as he may consider necessary to ensure that the requirements for teachers in public educational institutions will be satisfied. D. To establish, maintain and assist in maintaining such technical institutions and training centers as he may consider necessary to fulfill the requirements for technical and vocational education. E. To provide or assist in providing such facilities as he may think fit, think fit for tertiary education. F. To provide subject to such conditions as may be prescribed such number of places in public educational institutions as he may from time to time determine number of places so it could be the number of students right so subject to such conditions as may be prescribed such number of places in the public educational institution okay g subject to such conditions as may be prescribed to render to any student or class of students such forms of assistance as may be necessary to enable such student or class of student to take full advantage of the educational facilities available okay to render to any student assistant so it could be books money electronic devices writing 
um, tools such as pens, pencils, whatever the case is. All right. H to provide for the grant of scholarships exhibitions okay exhibitions bursaries or other financial assistance including loans for tertiary education Assistance to students on the paragraph G of subsection 1 may include the provision of free spaces in independent schools. Okay, so they would pay, the ministry could pay the fee of a student enrolled in a private school. Okay, to provide books and medical and dental service such as such other and such other forms of assistance as the minister may consider necessary in any particular case and three for the purpose of this section free free places means accommodation in an educational institution allotted to students who or whose parents are by reason of the allotment exempt from any liability to pay fees for tuition in such institution okay so the government would pay that school that private school and say we are paying for this student to attend your school all right section 5 We'll continue with this in our next video.